In this video, I'm gonna talk about CPU cores, what they are, what the term means. Hey guys, this is Akash and this is one of the videos of my ongoing series where I explain some of the complex topics in computer in an easy and fun way. And if that sounds good to you, don't forget to subscribe. And now let's dive into the topic. Now, this is a continuation of my last video where I talked about how a CPU works. Now, I will suggest you go and watch that video first right here because that will make this video very very easy to understand for you now we all heard that cpu is the brain of our computer now same as like brain cpu is also a very much complex component and like brain cpu is also made with a bunch of things and that is where cores comes in assume like cores is the neuron of our cpu now i know that our brain neuron and CPU cores are not same and for all those medical guys yes you can roast me in the comment section troll me in the comment section and I also know this then those things are not same but for the purpose of this video I'm giving the example because I think for the purpose of this video both of the things or the behavior of those things can be similar for the purpose of this video okay now let's move on to the top a cpu code receives instructions and perform calculations and or operations to satisfy those instructions a cpu can have more than one cores. A core can work on one task while another core can work on another task. And that means that the more core CPU has, the more efficient it is in theory. Because to make uh, efficient CPUs, there are a lot of things that we have to depend on like the IPC, the TDP, the clock speed. But these topics are beyond the scope of this video. So for this video, let's assume that the more core the CPU has, the better or the more efficient it is now for example let's think a cpu has to solve a mathematical problem which is a 9 into 4 into 5 into 3 now a cpu that has only one core will perform this task like this first 9 into 4 36 then 36 into 5 180 then 180 into 3 equals to 540 so as you can see it will take a lot of time and also it will waste a lot of cpu resources but if you throw the same task at a cpu which has two cores it will perform the task very differently like one core will do the 9 into 436 and at the same time another core will do the 5 into 315 then at the end it will multiply both of the result 36 into 15 540 now this is a very simple example like this is the simplest example but for the purpose of this video this will serve properly now a processor with two cores is called dual core processor with four cores a quad core six core hexa core eight core octa core so on and so forth the majority of consumer cpus feature from four to 16 cores and server cpus can go as much as 64 cores or even sometime more now each core of a cpu can perform different tasks separately or they can come together and execute a certain operation like for an example after i record and edit this video i have to render it out to upload now rendering in itself is a very heavy task so that is where all my cpu code comes in all together and try to render it in this case i have six cores so all the six cores will come together and try to render out this video also most cpus can use a process called simultaneous multi-threading or for intel it is hyper-threading or if you are in amd it is called just simply multi-threading but that's a topic for another day and for now if you like the video hit the like button if you don't leave it a dislike and if you want to watch more videos from us then check out this video right here and if you want to subscribe do it by here and you can also do it by here and this is akash and i will see you guys in the next one peace